All right, hey everyone. So this week it's gonna be about detail textures, uh, detail materials. So um, not only are we gonna talk about detail normal mats, but also detail base color and detail roughness. So getting three levels of detail tiling on top of our base material to increase the detail. So what we're looking at here, um, if you can't already tell, is we're looking at a very low res version of our this mega scan tree and then the very high res version on the right. Um, so this one on the left here, this one right now is uh, 512 textures. So uh, it's got an albedo, a uh, normal, and a roughness, and they are just 512. So we've got a 512 uh, albedo, uh, 512 normal, and a 512 roughness. So that's, you know, this is not something you want to be able to see in game. It's something that looks this low res, um, this muddy, and so we're gonna have to do something about that. So the tree on the right, right here, this one is our uh, absurdly high res, uh, straight raw scan. So, um, you know, not in terms of uh, polygons, the poly count on all of these are exactly the same, but uh, this one here, it has uh, three, three of the exact same textures, but this time they're 8K, so 8192 by 8192. So. That's a very large texture, right? And same with all of these, the normal and the roughness. These are all 8K textures. So the difference we're seeing between the one on the right and the one on the left is a 512 by 512 and then an 8K by 8K. So you can see the immense amount of detail that's showing up um, inside that 8K. So the closer we, you know, of course we wanna get it and make it look like this, but 8K textures, um, currently are, are not reasonable texture sizes for, for props or assets. Um, and 8K textures in games in general right now, um, if you're on a console or something like that, maybe, maybe you get one or two of them probably, but uh, other than that, you'll probably have a programmer uh, yelling at you for uh, throwing gigantic textures in the game. So um, it's not, not, a, not a, you know, a reliable process for us to create things at 8k and then expect them to stay 8k so you know 512 texture everyone would be super happy about it but it doesn't like look great so how can we you know get in between these and that's where the detail maps come in so um, this tree at, at the base is is this 512 so let's take a look at the material I've got an instance here so I'm gonna go open up the master material here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of take it back to where it was so let me move these things out of the way. So um, I've got a set of the detail here. So I've got three textures for the detail normal map, the detail maps, and we've got the blends. And so let's just take this back. Um, we'll go the base color, the roughness, and the normal. So if I hit save on this, what you're gonna see is that this tree right here is going to look exactly like this 512 uh, version. So that is at the, that's the foundation of this material, this center tree is this one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some tiled textures to it. So if I go ahead and take a look at these, what we have here is a tileable bark. And this is tileable bark I, I made inside of um, a substance designer very, very quickly um, using using the 3D you know, brushes that came with this mega scan, which were you know, some isolated bark. Um, so I made this really quickly. It could be a lot better. Um, you can definitely see some tiling elements in it, uh, but that's not the point, uh, you know, trying to get something totally final here. But um, if you were to spend a little bit more time on the normal, if I, if I was to spend a little bit more time on this normal, uh, I could make it look a little bit better. So um, we've got that as the tiling base there. We've also got a um, tiling right here. This is my tiling roughness. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, knocking back. I mixed it with an AO uh, and a curvature of, of that normal map, that height that I just showed this one here. So this is the AO and the curvature mixed together and then um, levels out. And what I have here is the top of the bark, the, the top outside area is going to be a little bit glossier than the inset area. So um, that way the outside of the tree looks a little bit rougher or the inside. And I could sw switch those out. Um, but uh, right now this is working. And the last one here is the albedo. And this one does a lot. So this is what I'm going to mix with the base color to add in um, that higher frequency detail of the bark um, and, and, try and 
right now it doesn't match the normal. I didn't have it match the normal at all. Uh, so I could do that as well to get a little bit more in the normal if I wanted. So right now these three textures, they don't really, uh, ma the, the albedo one, the base color, doesn't really match uh, perfectly with the normal, but um, I'm okay with that. And um, uh, the roughness does match with the normal though. So um, all three of these could match better. I could take this one and maybe I will. Uh, and, and add these details into uh, the other normal map and mix it in. But um, let's take a look at how I got that detail back on there. And again, these uh, with the material, but again, these tileable textures, these are also 512s. So we're, we're going all 512s here and, and tiling these 512s detail normals. The detail normals um, and albedo, these could probably go down to a 256, depending on how, how much detail we want and what it's looking like. So I could start at a 512 and then uh, try it at a, a 256 and see if I still get the same uh, quality results. Um, and what that, what that really means is that I can, you know, if we have 512 textures and using very small detail maps, that means I can get a lot more uh, textures and, and variety of models and, and materials inside of the game uh, and not use up too much memory. So let's take a look at how I set this thing up and how to how to set one of these up. So I'll go ahead and unhook hook all of these and uh, just control control left click here and unhook them. So and we'll move these up. So let's start with the normal. So we've got the normal, this detail normal here, this one here. It's a solid purple because it's tiled a bunch. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to mix our base normal, the normal that goes with the tree. And we're going to mix it with this tileable detail normal here. So um, what we use is a blend angle corrected normal, normal, so blend angle corrected normals. And what that's going to do is it's going to uh, overlay these two together and blend these normal maps together correctly. Um, so that with the turned UVs and the different facing angles of these UVs, uh, these these things should match and, and look correctly when they get light, lit. So um, taking this one and the detail one, putting it into the blend angle corrected normals, right into that normal slot. And what you'll see here is that uh, for this detail normal, we're multiplying our texture coordinate by a, by a value. So we'll start out with D, uh, uh, a value of one to start out. So texture coordinate time one uh, multiplied times one uh, into the detail. So that means it's just going to tile once across the entire. So they'll match right here uh, with a tiling of one. But we're going to tile it many times, eight times, 16 times, whatever it needs to look correct. So uh, what I'm going to do is this is all set up. So I'm going to hit save and we can watch and see what this does. So you can see right away um, that this one is it's getting all that bark detail from the normal now. Um, this is uh, this one here. So if I set this to one, you can see that it's tiled all the way across. This is what we were seeing inside this master material here. But the detail tile of one, uh, you know, is definitely not enough. So, you know, two, four, six, eight. I think eight probably matches the higher end one a, a bit better and looks pretty good there. So we'll just we'll just stay, stick with that one. So just with a normal, we went from very blurry and low res to uh, something that looks a lot more detailed. But it's still the color. The color is off right now. The color is blurry and blotchy. So if we were to go to detail lighting, um, I'd say this this works out pretty well. Besides these uh, with these these kind of unique spots of tiling uh, inside that detail tiled texture, which. Uh, like I said, spend more. If I spend more time on uh, getting that tileable texture and designer to look better, um, it, it will work better. So you know we're already closer. Uh, this is a huge jump closer to the normals of our 8K and what we'd want it to look like. And so again, this is now just two 512 normal maps versus an 8K normal map across this entire thing. So that's that's great there. So go ahead and lit back here. So let's let's get closer with the albedo now. So um, with the albedo, what's this one here? So uh, bark albedo. 
and this one has a lot more detail into it. So this is a mix. Um, I made a tileable texture out of uh, you know the the normal map one, and I grabbed a curvature from that, and then I took um, let's see, I took this texture over here. We'll take the AK one. We'll look at that one. So what I did is I took this texture here, this one right here, and all I did was make a selection out of here, like a square selection, copied and pasted it, made it tieable inside of Photoshop, and uh, levels it out, took all the color out, and made, uh, made this texture out of it, and then mixed it with um, uh, the curvature of this normal map. So we're getting a little bit of those big details from the tile texture, and then we're also getting the high frequency detail um, from the albedo of our 8K texture as a source. So whether I use, whether I had the 8K source of the the tree trunk to pull and get a, an albedo from uh, to get this detail from, or I could just go find any other tileable, any other bark. Uh, texture, say off CG textures, and I could make it tileable. The point is getting this detail, um, this higher frequency detail, and then using this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show the difference between two things. Um, first, what we're going to do is we're going to take the albedo, this uh, 512 albedo, and you can see it says 8K here because this is this is the parent here, but you can see that the instance here uh, for this is a 512. So I'm not doing any trickery there. Uh, if you if you happen to notice that, um, because this is a parameter, and so I overwrite it, overwrite that 8K with the 512. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show two things. I'm going to show what you would what it would look like if we used uh, if we just multiplied this one with our detail as our base color, and we'll go ahead and hit save. So what you'll see is that we get a lot of detail back in here. So you can see that we went from very blurry and muddy to a lot more detail. So we have a lot more breakup in here, but our overall tree just kind of just got knocked back and darker and a little bit of mud, like, and it's still muddy. So, and that's because we're just multiplying um, this high frequency noise across here. And uh, it, it, it looks, it could do it. It looks good uh, depending on how much, um, we want it to contribute to our um, albedo, but right now how much it is and the, the amount of detail that I want out of this, it just looks too dark in general. So um, between these, and if I go on lit, you can see that the overall tree just got completely dark, uh, a lot darker in general. Um, so the other option we have is to actually, um, I'll just go ahead and, and delete this, um, is to use a blend overlay. And what the blend overlay does, so yeah, what this blend overlay is gonna do is it, instead of just making things darker, it's gonna uh, be just like an overlay inside of Photoshop. It's a little bit more expensive in terms of instructions and everything, but you'll see how big of a difference this makes. And um, so the whites are gonna make things brighter and the mid gray is gonna stay even and then the uh, anything darker than mid gray is going to multiply. So you're getting a mix of multiply for anything uh, black to mid gray, and then you're getting um, an additive from anything uh, from mid gray to white. Um, and it's fairly subtle, so it works pretty good. And let's hit save here, and we can see the difference. Um, I think I already actually saved this. Uh, so we need to pop back real quick. Let me put that multiply back on. We can look at the difference between the two. Um, here, so go ahead and put multiply back on since I I skipped that on accident, so we can see the difference. So right now we have the multiply, and we'll look at on lit and we'll see what the difference is. And now we'll go. Uh, so now we're looking at multiply, and now let's do an overlay instead and hit save. There we go. So now we're getting some brightening areas and some darkening. Uh, it makes a big difference there. So again, a big difference uh, between the multiply and the overlay. Overlay is working a bit better. And the other thing I added in was a lerp. This is a pretty nice little thing to do. So you can add in a lerp. And this way what you can do is you can 
have a slider that lurps between the blended with the detail and the base. So um, what we can see is if I hit save with this one, nothing changes, but inside of our uh, our our instance material, we ha now have this detail albedo amount. So if I put zero, we go back to just no uh, albedo uh, base color uh, detail uh, map on side of there. So one is the full detail and zero is without. And so you can see the difference uh, in that right about there. So big difference, you can see just that albedo that black and white texture makes. So the last one to hook up, which uh, does a little bit, but not much, is the roughness. So um, let's go, go ahead and lit, lit uh, sorry, hit, hit lit, and then optimization, sorry, buffer visualization, visualization, and we're gonna go roughness. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go from this roughness uh, to, and we're just gonna multiply the roughness, this one here, this one very light here. So it's white and then some darkness. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and multiply that on there. So, and you'll see the difference. So we have this tiled, normal, this tiled roughness map. Take this to multiply and um, make sure that all of our, our detailed textures do go and get to the same uh, texture coordinate with the tile on it. And so these are just multiply. So I'll just hit save and we'll see what the difference looks like uh, between our roughness. Um, so there we go. So you can see that the roughness between these, uh, you know, gets a little bit more uh, going on with it. It's a little bit dark right here. So um, I could go alter the texture and fix that and make it a little bit brighter and so it doesn't get so dark. Um, but you can see now uh, we have a much better looking uh, tree trunk, um, base of a tree with just a 512 base textures and then a 512 uh, detail tiling textures on there. So um, big difference in, si in terms of memory, uh, big, big difference there. So uh, with this technique, we'll be able to add a lot more to it. Um, something to think about too is that with this, um, I do have uh, some other things to worry about, like uh, I should be using a second UV channel um, for this detail normal map. And also I would need a different detail normal map for any other types of materials. So this tree has a mix of the bark and uh, the moss, so I should do a detail um, map for the moss as well. And, or I should just blend over my, uh, my own moss and use a mask, a low res mask from this tree. So lots of different options to continue adding to this and make it look better. But this week's Tuesday tip, just how to, the, what these detail maps do and how big of a difference uh, detail, uh, base color and roughness can really add an extra bit in uh, on top of the normal and get a good look. So that's it for this week. Next week, I'm gonna talk about um, uh, channel packing. So, uh, you know, right now, when we look at these these materials um, and we look at these base materials here, we do have a lot of textures in here. Um, uh, that's the detail map one. So this one here, yeah. So we have, uh, you know, six different textures here, um, all going the same thing. And we could take this down to uh, th th probably three or four. So maybe even three um, and get these get these looking exactly the same. So yeah, it'd be four. So we'll, we'd, we'd have our, our base and then we can, we can start channel packing some other stuff. And for this uh, other tree, we had a lot more going on with the fuzz and everything. So um, we'll do, do some stuff about channel packing next week. So have a great week, everyone. Thank you for your time. Thank you.